Okay guys, we are playing against the engine, against 2000 Elo engines, so against d4 let's play the modern defense, let's play g6 and bishop g7. Okay, so knight to c3, uh, let's play d6, let's follow. Okay, so knight to f3, um, yeah, I guess let's play knight to f6, you can go bishop e2 I guess. Okay, let's show castle, and probably bishop... Uh, e3. Okay, so he decided to short castle. For now, let's develop the knight. We want to play for e5. Okay, so bishop g5. Let's try to attack the bishop. Okay, I think taking is actually a blunder, but okay, fine by me. Basically, just relieve the pressure, and now it's not so hard for us to play e5. Uh, yeah, let's keep improving. Um, okay, so let's try to attack the knight. Okay, so we decide to decline the trade, which is interesting. I guess we can also play for c6 immediately, because I think that f5 is coming. Um, okay, for now let's maneuver the bishop back. I guess, again, f5 is coming. A very strong move. Yeah, f5. But now we're going to try play uh, aggressive as possible. So yeah, this is actually, again, a very nice move, but we are going to be ready for everything. So take stake, yeah, we can go for that. Okay, so maneuvering the knight back, I think it's a waste of a tempo. Let's just take. Okay, so he took with the knight. Let's try to exchange. Okay, again, we can take. Mm -hmm, interesting idea. Um, okay, let's try to maybe exchange this bishop for the knight. Hmm. Okay, let's take. Now, we cannot really push because it's going to take, so let's play for a check, just protecting everything. Um, also, we maybe can try to put some pressure on, uh, on one of those pawns. Yeah, so let's push. We are trying to attack the queen. Okay, and I also want to play for d5. d5, we are not ready to do so yet, so... Yeah, um, let's play, yeah, I think rook d8 is good, we want to play d5, but we need to be ready for that. And yeah, this move is, uh, I think that uh, is very passive. Okay, so I think that we can immediately play for d5, he can push, but pushing the pawn I don't really find it to be uh, too strong. But now we got some uh, interesting position, we can play rook c8 with the attack of uh, d4. As you see now, he cannot really take because he's going to lose the queen. So I do believe that uh, we're going to be uh, better in this position. We just need to make sure that we are doing it, doing it correctly. And yeah, let's put the second rook on d8. And basically we can try to push. But now, now you see, it doesn't really let me push because if I'm going to push, I'm going to lose the pawn. So we can double up. Uh, what else do we got? We can also play for uh, f6. Uh, but we are going to have some weaknesses, so it's not... I'm not really convinced that it's, uh, this is actually good for us. Um, we can also take an exchange. Yeah, I think taking actually makes some sense. Okay, so decide to take back. Hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, slowly but carefully, let's try to put some pressure on this position. Let's take the rook. Exchange. Okay, so decide to do a very very weird move. Um, I, I guess you can win the pawn in the end, but I find this move to be extremely weak. We can just take. You can take this pawn with the tempo, but yeah, okay. So he decided even not to do to go for that. Now <clears throat> immediately we can block uh, those two threats with queen b6. We can also play. Now b6 isn't really working. Um okay, so queen b6, I guess, is a good move. We also got some pressure against his position. Okay, so as you see, he's trying to attack this pawn. We can uh, defend, of course. What else do we got? We can also maybe take. Yeah, so I think actually, even though we can allow this trade, but I think that we're going to be better. So if in this position is going to take, I can actually take back. Okay, so I decide not to. 
And as you see this check, I don't really believe this is a very strong volume. So now we got basically enough time to defend this weakness. Again, check. We are not going to be afraid from that. Um, okay, what else do we got? We can also play, for example, <clears throat> what else do we got? Hmm. So check. Okay, so actually I think that bishop f6 covering this uh, square is very, very strong. Okay, interesting. Of course, it's still not over. Okay, so let's try to exchange queens. Just, just in case. Okay, so it declined, which means that this is basically good for us. It says, it says like that we are in a good position. Um, of course, you cannot really take because uh, this rook is defended. But yeah, I think that I think that we can just grab another pawn. And uh, if we want to play for a plan, uh, trying to promote one of these pawns is actually extremely strong. So we want to play for that. We want to try to play for a fast pawn. Now, <clears throat> I think that uh, queen c4, trying to basically maintain the queen to a better position, exchanging, and then try to play for a push, supported by the bishop, supported by the, by the rook. So let's try to play for a queen exchange. And again, we don't really need both of these pawns, just one of them is, uh, is more than enough. Okay, so for example, uh, we can play a5 if it's trying to defend, it's not really possible. It, it cannot also try to play a uh, rook d5, so basically we got the tempo. And we can al always block with the, sorry, we can always defend with the uh, bishop c3. Okay, so now we can also play a4. a4, again, it cannot really attack the pawn, so we can get two, uh, two more tempos. Okay, this move is okay, but nothing nothing too serious nothing too serious so yeah let's let's just block i guess again this is guys it's far from over we still got a lot of work ahead but yeah even one pawn is is more than enough to to win okay so we can push um we can play a small move of uh, bishop c3, but he can attack. So yeah, let's just push. And in case he's going to try to pressure this pawn, makes sense. Now, we want to basically protect this pawn from this diagonal because we want to try to um, exchange rooks and we want this file to be uh, open for us. But as you see, playing a uh, move like Rook b3 can try to attack the rook, we can move, and then we can try to put the, the bishop back. So yeah, um, rook b3, I guess he will try to attack, which is extremely slow and it's not going to work. We also win for a tempo against the bishop. And now we can play bishop e7, and as you see, we are basically ready to try to, uh, to attack his position. Now, <clears throat> this move is, is interesting. Um, it's interesting, but I think this is actually weak because you want to try to meet uh, rook b3 with maybe bishop to a4. So trying to attack the bishop, you can also just assist the bishop if you're not careful. So even though it's tempting to play uh, king f8, I think that this is actually um, not really correct. Yeah, so let's continue. Let's play rook b3. And now we are trying to exchange. And if he's going to take... I'm going to be up material and he decided to, to just take and it is probably going to occupy this diagonal mm -hmm. make a whole lot of sense now we can also play a move with a tempo f5 this pawn is not going anywhere because it's also on a dull square so it's not like we're in a rush to protect it and we can also try to play very aggressively okay <clears throat> so uh, for now for now, let's try to support the break with bishop d6, and we are trying to bring the king closer. And as you see, I will defend this pawn, so this pawn will become a huge liability for uh, white. And this is plus two, this is uh, completely crushing for us, so yeah. Not a simple position for, uh, for white, of course. 
And yeah, as you see, he cannot he cannot really do anything. Uh, his king is going to be stuck, and he, or his bishop is going to be stuck. So this is actually just a win for us. Doesn't mean that we cannot uh, we can play anything we want. We still need to be careful, of course, and we got some work ahead. But yeah, it seems like we are in a much much better shape. Okay, so decide to take. Let's take with the pawn, of course. Okay, um, interesting. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of space for the king right now. We don't really have a lot of space. Hmm. This is actually interesting. Okay, so let's try to attack it from maybe a different diagonal. Hmm. So playing h5, it can try to maybe attack the pawn, and I don't really want to, I don't know, get stuck with the with the king, but we need to make sure that we are playing it correctly. Okay, so for now, of course, I don't want to maneuver the bishop because we're going to lose this pawn, which is very advanced, and also again, creating the h5 is going to be a target for his bishop. So for now, let's keep improving, and we want to play f3. Okay, so he's stopping f3, which is very smart, but we can play queen, uh, sorry, king e4. He can play a check, but as you see, he doesn't really have any weakness that he can target because we are only on a dark square, uh, square, a dark square uh, a pawn. Sorry. Let's keep moving. Okay, um, and yeah, basically we can keep improve. He cannot really stop both of those threats, and then, as you see, basically he doesn't really have any any moves. Okay, so let's keep improving. We want to escort this pawn with our king. And as you see, basically doesn't have any targets. Uh, in the end, what's going to happen that uh, we're going to try to promote. He's going to sacrifice his bishop. His king will get stuck in defending the, the pawn on f2. We are going to win this pawn on h4 and promote the, this pawn. So basically, this pawn is going nowhere. This pawn is going to be a queen. Watch ahead. So let's go. Oh, nice move, he's trying to, yeah, nice move actually. Uh, <clears throat> okay, as you see, now we'll be forcing to, to go back and we can basically play for a promotion. Okay, now as I mentioned, he will go in to sacrifice his bishop. He doesn't really have a choice and this king is just stuck. Of course, I don't want to pre-move anything because we need to make sure that we are playing that correctly. But as I mentioned, this is the plan. Um, basically, you got nothing. And as you see, this bishop is so painful for the for his king because he, he's got absolutely nothing. So yeah, I do want to pre-move, but we still want to make sure that we are playing that correctly. Okay, so here, for example, we can lose the bishop. Not not that it's uh, such a big deal, but um, we can also try to promote with a check if he takes as you see he's got uh, plenty of space so he can even take the bishop if he wants doesn't really matter we only need a queen and a king in order to play for a checkmate okay so let's play um, queen and a king checkmate it's going to be very fast faster than uh, promoting actually so funny thing th this one was actually promoted instead of uh, this one so my, uh, I did. Uh, I didn't really. Uh, I wasn't really sure that he's going for uh, to release the pressure, which was a mistake. Of course, you will see ahead. Yeah. So as you see, he always got some space. We are not playing by the clock, so we got plenty, plenty of time. Okay. And now, as you see, he still got legal moves, and regardless of where the king is going to be, this is just checkmate. Okay, so let's see the analysis of the game. wasn't really a short game, it was 14 minutes, but I think it was uh, very instructive. Let's see the game review. Let's see. Okay, so we played it well, uh, like 1900, which is my level, so it's decent. And let's see, well, so we played the modern defense. Everything is absolutely normal. H3 is good. Taking the knight, I think it's a, it's a mistake because basically you're just relieving the tension completely. 
And yeah, I don't really find this move useful for white, and this game is equal already on move 8. So now we try to play for an exchange. Okay, f4 is a very strong move in this position, so I was expecting that. Uh, yeah, but if I can give you also a tip, guys, also if you're maneuvering your knights or any other piece, and you see that you're going to be attacked, always make sure that you have a safe spot, because as you see, it's not like we have a lot of space for the knight, but I was, I was, I saw that uh, knight d7 is actually a safe spot for the knight. This is why I wasn't really worried from f4. Okay, so let's keep improving. Uh, c6, getting some, uh, getting some space. Also, you want to basically try to open up the the board a little bit because, as you see, we don't really have a lot of space and. Uh, white is controlling a lot of the area. Even though black is slightly better, we are still trying to get some more space and exchange. Okay, so we take, we exchange some more. Okay, so d5 was good. d4 is okay. Okay, and we took. Yeah, and uh, queen e3 was a bit more good. I guess we got some pressure against his position. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, and as you see, this was a completely blunder. Basically, he's giving up a pawn. He can take on b7 with the tempo, but yeah, very, very weak move by my opponent. Okay. So, we kept improving. The idea of bishop to f6 was to cut off any checks ideas. So, it's not like it's a dangerous position, but let's say, just to give you an example, that, I don't know, the queen is going to play queen b2. You can go check and you're going to lose the rook. So we still need to make sure that we are not blundering anything. Let's continue. Okay, so now we try to offer a queen exchange. And we did. It took the pawn and we already played for a a5. Taking the pawn was actually a bit, uh, a bit better. And as you see, we can just push and push. Okay, and now bishop to e7, just protecting the pawn, trying to exchange these rooks those rooks which the engine doesn't really like but it's still minus three for black so yeah it's still winning okay and we kept improving as you see basically not the the most precise yeah i understand because basically taking with the bishop and then you got two for one so basically this is faster but of course this is still winning for us Okay, and now we force him to give up his bishop. This is minus 42, so as you see, basically you got nothing. Okay, and yeah, we just play for a checkmate. Again, guys, if you watch until now, please subscribe my channel, uh, like, uh, comment, anything will uh, help a lot. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.